good day. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me back at here at my channel. I am going to show you all something different today. I really hope you like it. It is a sort of a, a craft project. I love to go to the thrift stores every now and then. I went to a local thrift store recently and I found some really cute frames. Pepe, shut up! Uh, I found this uh, small five by seven gold frame. So I decided why not do a little bit of uh, paint addition antiquing to it. It's really colorful. So if you like traditional frames, this might not be for you, but if you like things that are out there, really colorful and really crazy, I think you'll like this. And we'll see how it turns out. Thanks. All right, so here is the original frame. And this is what we're turning it into. I've taken all the pieces apart very carefully. This glass has that awful sticker nonsense going on. So I'm going to soak it with glass cleaner, or you could use water, and it will wipe off easily in a few minutes. All the paint and supplies I'm using today will be posted in the description below. So with the type of finish on this frame, it would be wise to sand it down a bit, but I'm impatient and I kind of skipped that step. So instead I went straight to painting. I did apply multiple coats, about two, sometimes four coats of paint, depending on the edge. I thought that red would look elegant in certain areas, but it simply looked like I was trying to cut someone with it. So now I'm cleaning up the crime scene. Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and cover that up with purple. So I personally love painting with sponges. If you like painting with sponges, leave me a comment below. Now you're going to see me going back and forth between each of the colors. Um, I'm leaving multiple caked on layers. Uh, if you already haven't guessed, I'm going for a sort of a messy antique look and I think it'll look kind of cool at the very end. Aren't these corners awesome? The details are just so fun. and. The dotted border, I thought that was really cool. Just wait till I attack those details with my sponge. They won't see it coming. Ha, 
Who needs a palette when you have wax paper underneath? Paint everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna try this red again in a different way. Look at that detail. So yes, I couldn't help myself. I had to add some shine. So I whipped out one of my silver paint pens. This is totally optional on a piece like this, but I thought it was cool. Now on to the last few steps. Let's rough this baby up a little bit. Scruff up those edges like it owes you money. Look how cool this comes out. I love it. And it's going to go right here on my desk. All right, so I hope you all really enjoyed that. It was fun to make, fun to record. And uh, if you like that uh, technique, or if you like seeing more DIY videos on things that I buy and paint up in a really cool fashion, please let me know. Leave me a comment, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all next time. Adios.